Today we're showing you how we put this tile backer board up as part of our shower install. Stick with us. Hi, welcome to the Handyverse where we approach home ownership mindfully, turning to DIY as a first resort when our knowledge and skills allow it to improve our home, to learn, and to hopefully inspire you to do the same in your own living space. Today I'm back in the bathroom, got the shower base installed in the last video. Now I need to work on the walls. Uh, I'm just going to flip the camera around here so I can show you better what I'm doing. The main thing is I'm basically getting these walls ready to put the tile backer on so I can tile it. And then I also need to uh, install new plumbing here for uh, the new fixtures because these aren't in the right spot. On this wall, the big issue I have is that they put this stud in at one point, this one in the middle. Uh, however, it protrudes a bit. Um, so if I put the level on it, you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video or not. Let's try this. But you can see there's, uh, if I try and install tile on that, it's going to be a curve and uh, that's not going to sit well with the ceramic tiles. So what I'm going to do is put uh, quarter inch furring strips on these studs and I'm going to do this one and the one on the edge here. I'm not going to put anything on this one and I'm going to install a sister stud on this one here to bring it out from the wall. And when I do that, I'll put the quarter inch on here first. I'll put the level on it and I'll use that to set the distance out for my sister stud in the corner. On these exterior walls, I've got some three quarter inch strapping that I'm going to use uh, as furring strips. And this is going to solve two problems for me. One is the um, tile backer that I'm using. It's called Den Shield from Georgia Pacific. It is not meant to go over a vapor barrier. But of course, code here, this is an exterior wall, I need a vapor barrier. So putting the um, strapping or furring strips uh, over this um, brings it out from that vapor barrier and give some space for air to breathe in behind it and uh, keep it dry. So that fixes that for me. And then also it allows down here, the tile backer board will then come down over the flange on the, on the uh, perimeter of the tub, which um, was something else I needed as well. Rather than trying to notch out the backer board to slide down over it, I can just mount it to the strapping here and put it down. So let's get all these strapped up and ready for the next step. I've got the strapping in, I got the sister stud on, I've got the furring strips, the quarter inch furring strips on there. Now I need to deal with the plumbing. Um, if you can see here, the shower head now is not in line with the drain. Oh, if I take this off, actually, you can see it better. Uh, you can see it's off to the right where they had cut into the studs before with the tub. So I'm gonna move that over uh, to the left but the other thing I need to keep in mind is the um, where the hole is going to be in my tile. So we're going to use 12 inch tiles. So I have to make sure that that's in the middle of a tile, not on the edge, because I, I want it to be a nice seam. And same goes with the valve, which will be somewhere around here because we're going with a shower only faucet. Um, this guy here from Moan. So I need to figure out the placement of, of this valve and uh, the depth of it is this surface here it needs to be flush with the tile surface. So I need to put a straight edge across those studs and figure out how far back I need to mount this and put a cross piece in to support this. I also need to cap off this here, which is the, um, the port that would be used if you were installing a tub faucet as well. We're not doing that. so. This comes with a, 
it comes with a uh, plug in here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to put that on now because I don't need it. Um, I'm going to cut out this uh, pipe here. I need to shut off the water and cut these pipes. The hot and the cold feeds and then bring up the valve somewhere somewhere around here. I'm going to use PEX to do that and the shark bite system uh, just because I don't want to be in there with a torch and trying to solder it. I'd rather, it's a little bit more expensive, but uh, it'll be quicker and easier for me to use the shark bite stuff. So that is what I'm going to do next. Okay, I've got the plumbing transferred over. I've moved it a bit towards the center. I've installed the valve here. Uh, I used PEX to run the plumbing. Uh, like I said, one thing to note on the valve, um, I didn't realize this, I assumed it came in the closed position, but actually I had some uh, water come out when I put it on, but um, there's a notch on this that needs to be pointing down. Let's see if I can get a view of it here. Uh, right there, that little notch needs to be pointed downwards. Yeah. It needs to be down, that's right. And uh, it wasn't for me, so I had some water come out the top, but uh, not a big deal. I uh, got that done now. I did make a mistake here with the PEX. I used red until I remembered that I had some blue left over from the laundry. But um, these here worked really well. I was a little skeptical, but... Um, they're actually great. It was really easy to uh, to pop these on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the little guy likes it too. So, next thing, I've got to put the backer board up for the tile. I've got this one rough cut already and just set in place. I've got a, a it's about a quarter inch shy um, of the width to allow an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch on each side. And what I'm going to do on the bottom is run a big thick bead of silicone underneath and I'm going to set it down on top of it before screwing it into place. So that's the next step. Get this tile backer board on. got these boards on I've got this back on uh, up to this point um, the next one I'm gonna do though is on this side I'm gonna leave that for later because we have to make uh, cuts with whatever board we have left but on this side you uh, I'm gonna have to deal with the um, the valve here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test fit this and then give it a little push and that should indent the back of the board and then I'll cut out the circle that I need for this valve cover. One thing to note, there's this cast iron pipe in here. I'm not going to replace this at this time, um, but it's important to note it because if the kitchen ever gets done, that, that wall is on the other side here. The kitchen's on the other side of this wall. So when that kitchen is done, that would be the optimum time to get this replaced. Cut that piece in with the spout. I'm gonna put this piece on next. Uh, just to show you how I do it, I, I, I'm putting screws in just to give it a space between the board below to allow room for expansion. And I'm running a bead of caulking along the bottom 
and then I'll run it up along the corner as well so there's a, a bead of silicone in there before we even put the backer board in and I've already test fit the next piece with the um, pipe for the shower yeah yeah so uh, that's what's next to uh, drive that in and we're getting close just that piece yeah. and the piece over here and uh, we're ready to waterproof it and then move on to the tile board up, I got it waterproofed, it's uh, ready to go for the tile. I'm going to call this video there because it feels like it's getting a little bit long. So uh, if you want to keep following along with us, hit subscribe and we will see you in the next video.